Ferdinand August Bebel, the 22nd of February 1840 to the 13th of August 1913, was a German socialist politician, writer, and orator. He is best remembered as one of the founders of the Social Democratic Workers' Party of Germany in 1869, which in 1875 merged with the General German Workers' Association into the Socialist Workers' Party of Germany During the repression under the terms of the anti-socialist laws, Bebel became the leading figure of the Social Democratic movement in Germany and from 1892 until his death served as chairman of the Social Democratic Party of Germany. Biography Early years Ferdinand August Bebel, known to all by his middle name, was born on of February 1840, in Dutz, Germany, now a part of Cologne. He was the son of a Prussian noncommissioned officer in the Prussian infantry, initially from Ostroo in the province of Posen, and was born in military barracks. As a young man, Bebel apprenticed as a carpenter and joiner in Leipzig. Like most German workmen at that time, he travelled extensively in search of work and he thereby obtained a first hand knowledge of the difficulties facing the working people of the day. At Salzburg, where he lived for some time, he joined a Roman Catholic workmen's club. When in Tyrol in 1859 he volunteered for service in the war against Italy, but was rejected, and in his own country he was rejected likewise as physically unfit for the army. In 1860 he settled in Leipzig as a master turner, making horn buttons. He joined various labor organizations. Although initially an opponent of socialism, Bebel gradually was won over to socialist ideas through pamphlets of Ferdinand Lassalle, which popularized the ideas of Karl Marx. In 1865 he came under the influence of Wilhelm Liebknecht and was thereafter committed fully to the socialist cause. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Political career. Following the death of Lassalle, Bebel was among the group of socialists that refused to follow new party leader Johann Baptist von Schweitzer at the Eisenach Conference of 1867, an action which gave rise to the name Eisenachers. For this Marxist faction, together with Liebknecht, he founded the Sächsische Volkspartei, Saxon People's Party. Bebel was also president of the Union of German Workers' Associations from 1867 and a member of the First International. Bebel was elected to the North German Reichstag as a member from Saxony in that same year. In 1869, he helped found the Social Democratic Workers' Party of Germany (SDAP), which later merged with another organization in 1875 to form the Socialist Workers' Party of Germany (SAPD), which in turn became the Social Democratic Party of Germany (SPD) in 1890. Bebel's great organizing talent and oratorical power quickly made him one of the leaders of the socialists and their chief spokesman in parliament. He remained a member of the North German parliament, and later of its counterpart for the German Empire, the Reichstag, until his death, except for the interval of 1881–83. He represented successively the districts of glaschau mirang Dresden, Strasbourg, and Hamburg. Later in his life, he acted as chairman of the SPD. Representing as he did Marxian principles, he was bitterly opposed by certain factions of his party. In 1870, he spoke in Parliament against the continuance of the war with France. Bebel and Liebknecht were the only members who did not vote the extraordinary subsidy required for the war with France. Bebel was one of only two socialists elected to the Reichstag in 1871, and he used his position to protest against the annexation of Alsace and Lorraine and to express his full sympathy with the Paris Commune. German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck afterwards said that this speech of Bebel's was a «ray of light» showing him that socialism was an enemy to be fought against and crushed. Falsely accused of being in league with the French and part of a conspiracy to free French prisoners of war held in Germany and to lead them in an attack from the rear, Bebel and Liebknecht were arrested for high treason, but no prosecution was possible for lack of evidence. Not wanting to release such important opponents of the war effort, old charges of preaching dangerous doctrines and plotting against the state were levied against Bebel and Liebknecht in 1872. The pair were convicted and sentenced to two years in Festungschaft imprisonment in a fortress, which was spent at the famous Konigstein Fortress. For insulting the German emperor, Bebel was additionally sentenced to nine months ordinary imprisonment. 
This incarceration served to increase Bebel's prestige among his party associates and the sympathetic public at large. In 1874, Bebel took a partner and founded a small button factory, for which he acted as salesman, but in 1889 he gave up his business to devote himself wholly to politics. In 1868, he became connected with the staff of the Volksstadt, the People's State, at Leipzig, and in 1891 with that of the Vorwärts. Forward. At Berlin, after his release from prison, he helped to organize, at the Congress of Gotha, the United Party of Social Democrats, which had been formed during his imprisonment. After the passing of the Socialist Law he continued to show great activity in the debates of the Reichstag, and was also elected a member of the Saxon Parliament. When the state of siege was proclaimed in Leipzig he was expelled from the city, and in 1886 condemned to nine months imprisonment for taking part in a secret society. In party meetings of 1890 and 1891, Bebel's policies were severely attacked, first by the extremists, the young. Socialists from Berlin, who wished to abandon parliamentary action, against these Bebel won a complete victory. On the other side he was involved in a quarrel with Volmar and his school, who desired to put aside from immediate consideration the complete attainment of the socialist ideal, and proposed that the party should aim at bringing about, not a complete overthrow of society, but a gradual amelioration. This conflict of tendencies continued, and Bebel came to be regarded as the chief exponent of the traditional views of the orthodox Marxist party. Though a strong opponent of militarism, he publicly stated that foreign nations attacking Germany must not expect the help or the neutrality of the Social Democrats. Already in 1911 amid the rising tensions between the European powers, Bebel publicly predicted an upcoming Great War with millions of soldiers confronting each other followed by a great collapse. Mass bankruptcy, mass misery, mass unemployment and great famine. In 1899, at the Hanover Congress of the SPD, Bebel delivered a speech condemning Eduard Bernstein's revisionism. His resolution, attacks on the fundamental views and tactics of the party, garnered the support of the vast majority of the Congress, including Bernstein's supporters. Topic. Class, race, pacifism, and prurient sex Bebel particularly distinguished himself by his denunciation of the maltreatment of soldiers by officers and still more frequently by noncommissioned officers. His efforts in this matter had received great encouragement when King Albert of Saxony issued an edict dealing with the maltreatment of soldiers in the Saxon contingent, thus cutting the ground from under the feet of the imperial government, which had persistently attempted to deny or to explain away the cases put forward by Bebel. Speaking before the Reichstag, Bebel criticized the war to crush the Boxer Rebellion in China in 1900, saying, No, this is no crusade, no holy war, it is a very ordinary war of conquest. A campaign of revenge as barbaric as has never been seen in the last centuries, and not often at all in history. Not even with the Huns, not even with the Vandals. That is no match for what the German and other troops of foreign powers, together with the Japanese troops, have done in China. Bebel is also famed for his outrage at the news of German mistreatment of indigenous people in its southwest African colony, the Herero Nation in particular. In 1904 following a revolt by the Herero people who were being pushed off their land to make way for German settlers, the government launched the Herero and Namaqua genocide to crush the revolt by waging a war of extermination against the Herero. He and the German Social Democratic Party thus became the only party in the Reichstag to oppose increased colonial expenditures, and in a speech in March 1904 Bebel classified the policy in German West Africa as not only barbaric, but bestial. This caused some sections of the contemporary German press to scathingly classify Bebel as Der Hereroisch Bebel Koberger Zeitung, 17 January 1904. Bebel was not deterred, he later followed this up with strongly worded warnings against the rising tide of theories of racial hierarchy and racial purity, causing the general election to the German Reichstag in 1907 to go over in history as the Hottentot election. Bebel's book, Women and Socialism, was translated into English by Daniel Delian of the Socialist Labour Party of America as Woman Under Socialism. It figured prominently in the Connolly Delian controversy after James Connolly, then a member of the SLP, denounced it as a quasi prurient book that would repel potential recruits to the socialist movement. The book contained an attack on the institution of marriage, which identified Bebel with the most extreme forms of socialism. 
In the preface to De Leon's translation, Woman Under Socialism, Delian distanced himself from Bebel on this point, holding that monogamy was the most desirable form of social organization. Topic. Death and legacy August Bebel died on 13 August 1913 of a heart attack during a visit to a sanatorium in Passug, Switzerland. He was 73 years old at the time of his death. His body was buried in Zurich. At the time of his death Bebel was eulogized by Russian Marxist leader Vladimir Lenin as a model workers leader who had proven himself able to break his own road from being an ordinary worker into becoming a political leader in the struggle for a better social system. The well-known saying, Antisemitism is the socialism of fools. Der Antisemitismus ist der Sozialismus der Dummen Kurl is frequently attributed to Bebel, but probably originated with the Austrian Democrat Ferdinand Kronewetter. It was in general use among German Social Democrats by the 1890s. Bebel, along with Karl Marx, Friedrich Engels, and Ferdinand Lassalle, was among the socialist icons included in bas relief portraits on the facade of the Forward Building, erected in 1912 as the headquarters of the New York Yiddish language socialist newspaper. <laughs> English language works Women in the Past, Present, and Future. London, Reeves, 1885. U.S. Edition, San Francisco, G. Benham, 1897. Assassinations and Socialism, from a speech by August Bebel, delivered at Berlin, November 2, 1898. New York, New York Labor News Co., N.D., C., 1899. Bieber. New York, International Publishers, 1901. Socialism and the German Kaiser, Two Speeches. With Georg Heinrich von Volmar. London, Clarion Press, 1903. Women Under Socialism. New York, New York Labor News Co., 1904. New Translation, Women and Socialism. New York, Socialist Literature Co., 1910. Trade Unions and Political Parties. Milwaukee, Social Democratic Publishing Co., 1906. Bebel's Reminiscences. New York, Socialist Literature Co., 1911. The Intellectual Ability of Women. New York, Cooperative Press, N.D.C., 1912. My Life. London, T. Fisher Onwin, 1912. Speeches of August Bebel. New York, International Publishers, 1928. Topic. See also. Bebelplatz, public square in Berlin named after August Bebel Topic. References Topic. External links August Bebel at Encyclopædia Britannica Works by August Bebel at Project Gutenberg Works by or about August Bebel at Internet Archive Biography of August Bebel. Retrieved 31 May 2007. August Bebel Internet Archive, Marxists Internet Archive, www.marxists.org slash retrieved 31 August 2010. Bebel, Ferdinand August. The New Students Reference Work, 1914. Ulrich Rippert, August Bebel and the Political Awakening of the Working Class, WSWS.org retrieved 28 August 2013. Archive of August Bebel Papers at the International Institute of Social History Newspaper clippings about August Bebel in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.